In this video, we're going to look at division of number bases. Sorry. All right, we're going to look at how to divide a number in base 2 uh, in this video. Um, dividing numbers in base 2, it's similar to dividing number in other bases. We're going to look at the examples we have on the board. Uh, the first question we have here, we have 1001 divided by 1, 1. These numbers are all in base 2, so we could have a 2 here. All right, so the 2 tells you that the numbers are in base 2. Now, how do we divide? Uh, the, the, the divisor, uh, it's outside. Okay, so we're going to write this number, this number inside uh, this, 1, 0, 1, divided by 1, 1. All right, no two, no two numbers. No two numbers or two-digit number uh, uh, is the same as a three-digit number. A two-digit number is smaller than a three-digit number. A, a three-digit number is always bigger than a two-digit number. Now, if you look at what we have here, you have a two-digit number, which is the divisor, or dividing uh, a four-digit number. Now, how do we divide? We look at the first uh, two-digit number you have uh, inside which is 1, 0. Obviously, 1, 0 is less than 1, 1. So what do we do? We take the first three digits number, which is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is bigger than 1, 1. So we're going to write 1, yeah, and then we we'll multiply 1 by the divisor, which is 1, 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. The next thing we're going to do is to subtract. Now, how do we subtract binary number? It's simple. Uh, uh, if you look at it, 0 minus 1, it's not possible. You cannot take uh, 1 from nothing. So we're going to borrow from the nearest number closest to the 0. It's also 0. Obviously, we can't, we can't borrow from there. So we're going to come here. We take 1 from here. We're left with 0. That one you borrow becomes 2 because the numbers are in base 2. So this is going to be 2. All right. So, but this is not our destination. Our destination is actually here. So we're going to borrow another one from here. So what we have left here is what? 1. So the one you borrow becomes 2. So by the time you add it to the 0, it becomes 2. So 2 minus 1, I will give you 1. Obviously, this is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. All right. Now, from what we have here, we're going to move these, the next digits uh, directly under. We'll move the next digit under. Uh, now, the next thing we have is 1-1 one, one divided by 1-1. One, one. Obviously, it's 1-1 uh, one. One, one divided by 1-1 one, one is 1. So I'm going to use this 1 again to multiply this 1-1. One, one. That will give you 1-1. One, one. And what do we do? We subtract. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So since we do not have any other number apart from 0, it means the answer to this question, when we divide uh, 1, 0, 0, 1 by 1, 1 uh, in base 2, the answer is 1, 1 in base 2. Now, the next question we have here, we have a three-digit number, which is divisor, dividing um, the numerator. Uh, you, you have 110, you have 101. Obviously, 101 is lesser than 110. So obviously, we're going to move to the next digit. So we're going to be looking at the first four digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, all right? So, 1010 is bigger than 110. So 110, when it divides 1010, we're going to write 1. So what do we do with this 1? Just like the example we did earlier, we're going to use this 1 to multiply 110. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So what do we do? We subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, 0 minus 1 is not possible, so we're going to borrow from this 1. So what we are left here is 0. The 1 you borrow, since it's in base 2, it becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 
Now, the next thing we do, we move this number just after the, the first four digits down. All right? So we, have, we now have four digits, 1001 divided by 110. So what we do, we just write one here. Okay, write one. Now we use this one again to multiply everything. That will give you 0, 1, 1. We subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1, it's obviously, it's not possible. We can't take something from nothing. So we're going to borrow from here. Uh, here becomes 0. The one you borrow becomes 2. So we put it here, it becomes 2. We take 1 from there again because that's not our destination. Here becomes 1. Then here becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So what we are left with is 1, 1. So what do we do next? We move this down. So this becomes 0. So what we have is 110 divided by 110. Obviously, that will give you 1. So what do we do? 1 times this will give you 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we subtract 0 minus 0, 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Since we now have zero, we do not have any remainder. It means that one zero one zero one zero divided by one one zero is equal to one 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 all in base two. Thank you for watching.